Hello Mr. Beltran. I am Dr. Silva and I am a heart specialist. The doctor here told me you are having chest pain. Can you tell me about it? Yes, I have diabetes and have bypass surgery five years ago at the age of 65. I have been using my nitroglycerin almost every day recently. Today the pain lasted longer. It is gone now. I have looked at your tests and so far there is no indication of heart damage. I would like to keep you in the hospital for further testing. I will go set things up. Oh, Ruth, case manager, there you are. I want to admit Mr. Beltran for chest pain and I do not understand this two midnight rule. Oh, Dr. Silva you are not alone. What are your plans for him and I can help you? So far there is no indication of a heart attack and his CAT scan was negative but I am still concerned about recurrent CAD. Well in that case he should be placed on outpatient observation status to start. That is crazy. He is very high risk. I am sorry Dr. Silva but I do not make the rules. And if we choose the wrong status the hospital will get paid nothing and they may deny your charges too. Are you kidding? He is going to need a coronary angio. Are you saying that does not justify admitting him? I might as well take him out to the parking lot and treat him there. Let me call Dr. Hirsch from Accretive Physician Advisory Services to come talk to you and explain it if you would like. He is always available to help the doctors. That is fine. I will be in the coffee shop. Well Hirsch, what the heck is all this about? It is just madness. Well Dr. Silva, let me explain it to you. Medicare is not telling you how to treat patients but has changed the way they pay hospitals for what we call short stays. They are now paying based on time in the hospital rather than based on risk to the patient. So there are two decision points. The first decision is whether the patient needs to stay in the hospital or would staying be convenience. So they must require services that can only be provided in the hospital such as intravenous antibiotics or they must have their safety threatened if they are sent home, such as a patient with chest pain who is ruling out for MI, or a patient with uncomplicated community-acquired pneumonia being seen in the ED and is stable can get a prescription for an antibiotic, and the patient can see their family doctor in the next day or two. The don't need to stay in the hospital. But if they had tachycardia or hypoxia that signifies increased risk and that patient needs to be in the hospital. Well that makes sense at least so far. Then the doctor must expect that care to exceed two midnights. It sounds funny to talk about midnights but that is actually the easiest time point to use for reference. The trick is that this midnight counting begins when the patient starts receiving care in the hospital. We have never really looked at that time point in the past but now we must. So if they start care at 11 p.m. they pass the first midnight in an hour. You may admit as inpatient a patient who arrives at 11 p.m. and needs about a day in the hospital. But if that same patient arrives at 7 in the morning, they don't get their first midnight for 17 hours so their one day in the hospital will not pass two midnights. Well it made sense until now. Give it time and it will sink in. One more point, your notes must paint that picture of need to be in the hospital. Outline the abnormal results and discuss risk to the patient. That is key. The auditors cannot read your mind, for your patient. It sounds like you are going to either take him to the cath lab today or rule him out and then possibly take him tomorrow, so that will mean only one midnight will pass and does not meet the standard for admitting as inpatient. But if you were to keep him to rule him out and he gets stress test that is abnormal and you do a cardiac cath on him tomorrow, and it is normal. He will go home prior to the second midnight but on the other hand if you place a medically necessary stent, then he will need to stay a second midnight so he should be admitted after the cath. Now I get it. Thanks a lot. I just do what is best for the patient and if they need to stay past that second midnight, I admit them. Inpatient and outpatient with observation are the same level of care, just for different time periods. Yep. And remember that the doctors at Accretive will be helping you pick the right status when we review your cases. You can ask the case manager to call one of us for help. Thanks again. I must get to the office.